Hi, welcome to this tutorial on finding the equation of a circle when you're given three points, let's say A, B and C, that the circle has to pass through. Now, you should know that the equation of a circle has this particular format, x minus x1 all squared plus y minus y1 all squared equals the radius squared. So what you're going to need to do is find the center of the circle and the radius r. Now to find the coordinates of the center of the circle x1 y1 what we do is we rely on a property of the chords of a circle. Let me just show you. If you take a chord of a circle let's say we take the chord AB and we take the chord say BC now if we construct the perpendicular bisectors of these two chords let's just do the first chord AB the perpendicular bisector is going to go through the midpoint of AB and it's going to look something like this All right. and if I do the same for the chord BC construct the perpendicular bisector it's going to pass through the midpoint of BC at right angles it looks something like that. Now the center of the circle is always at the intersection of these two perpendicular bisectors. So if we can get these equations then we could solve them simultaneously and get the center. And as for the radius, well the radius will be the distance from the center to any one of these points and we can do that by Pythagoras' theorem. Now in the example that I'm now going to show you I'm going to take a very simple case when the two chords AB and BC are horizontal and vertical and then in another tutorial what I'll show you is a more advanced problem where one of the chords is sloping. Okay well let's do that first example now in this example what I've got is a circle passing through three points with coordinates minus one five three five and three minus one and we've got to find then the equation of the circle now I've picked this question purely because it's one of the easier ones first of all why is it easy because we've got a horizontal chord here and a vertical chord. Now points like this can often be missed if you don't sketch the diagram. So whenever you're asked a question on finding a equation of a circle passing through three points I would certainly urge you to draw a sketch because otherwise you're likely to miss those points. So let's start then. We've got a horizontal chord and we've got a vertical chord. So to find the center all we need to do is bisect each of the chords. All right? So if we bisect the brown chord here, draw in the perpendicular bisector, we're going to have that. And then if we bisect this chord, we're going to have the perpendicular bisector like that. Okay, so we now need to get the center of the circle. And the center of the circle is going to be very easy when you've got horizontal and vertical chords because we've got vertical and horizontal perpendicular bisectors. So the x coordinate here will be the midpoint of the x coordinates of these two points minus one and three. So let's just put in that the center is going to equal then the midpoint of minus one and three so we just do the mean of those two points add the coordinates together divide by two. As for the y coordinate the center it's going to be the midpoint of this line here. Okay midpoint then of the 5 
and the minus 1. So we just add those two together and divide by 2. So what have we got? Well, the point comes out at minus 1 add 3, which is 2, divided by 2 is 1. And then we've got 5 minus 1, which is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we've got a centre then at 1, 2. Let's mark in that centre then. Put it in as 1, 2. Now we've got to find the radius. And to do that, what we do is we take a line from the centre to any of the three points on the circumference. I'm going to choose this point 3, 5 because it just looks nice and positive but it would work just as equally with any of these other points and I would strongly encourage you to try working out the radius squared by using some of these other points. But anyway, we're, I'm going to use this one here. This will be the radius which I mark in as R and we consider this triangle here. Now by Pythagoras' theorem, r squared is equal to this length squared plus this length squared. So we can say that therefore r squared will equal, now to get this length, it's going to be the difference between the x coordinates, 3 and the 1 here. So 3 minus 1 gives us 2. So we know that this length here is 2 units and then we need to square that for Pythagoras' theorem. And we need to add it to this length squared. Well this length is going to be 5 take away the 2. So it's going to be 5 take away 2 which is clearly 3 units so we know that this length is 3 and we need to square it for Pythagoras' theorem. So r squared equals 2 squared which is 4 plus 3 squared which is 9 so we now know that the radius squared is equal to 13. So now that we've got the centre and the radius squared, we can get the equation of the circle. So let's just finish them by saying that therefore the equation of the circle all right, is, okay, and what is it going to be? Well, Hopefully we know that the equation of a circle then is generally x minus x1 all squared plus y minus y1 all squared equals the radius squared. That's the form of the equation of a circle then with center x1 and y1. And we know what x1 is. It is 1. We know what y1 is. It's 2. So we can put in here that this is x minus 1 squared and this is y minus 2 squared. And as for the radius squared, well that's 13. So we can put that in as 13. So we've got the equation of the circle. So as I said earlier, this is a very basic example, very easy because we had horizontal and vertical chords. Now I would encourage you to look at my next tutorial on finding the equation of a circle passing through three points because in that one I'm going to show you how we can handle one where we've got a sloping chord. All right. So that brings us anyway to the end of this tutorial.